Hello everyone. Okay, in this video, I will look at question 5, 16, time value of money, future value of an annuity. So, in this problem, you plan to buy a house 10 years from today. Okay, right now, the house costs 100,000. So, first of all, where the 100,000 stay? Yep, right now, so... The value of the house is right here, 100,000, right? And of course, the price of the house is not the same 100,000 forever. And actually, the price in the book, it said the price is expected to increase in value each year at the rate of 5%. So, you uh, simply put, that 100,000 here will increase 5% from year to year. So, my first question is, what is the price of that house 10 years from today? You need to get this number, right? So, how can we you do it? 100,000. Increase 5% a year. So, over here, let me put it up here. 100,000. It increase at 5% a year. So, at the end, what is the formula for the price? Uh, like we did before, there are two ways. One is to use the formula. So 100 multiplied by 1 plus 5% raised to power. Uh, how many period or how many years in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, raised to power 10. Uh, let me get the other marker. Okay, raised to power 10. Okay, you can do the calculation. Now, another way is to look at financial table. For a single sum, you look at compound sum of $1. So, how many years? 10 year row and which column? 5% column, right? So, here we have it. 10 year row. 5% column and the number in that cell is and the number in that cell is let me see okay 1.629 right 1.629 1.629 is a future value 10 years from today for one dollar today so now the value of the house is 100,000K. So you simply take 100,000 multiply by uh, 1.629. So the value of the house will grow to uh, will grow to 162,900. Of course, if you Calculate using that formula, the number will be a little bit different because of the routing error, right? So, over here we answer the first question. 10 years from today, you need to get that amount of money so you can buy the house. Now, the second part of that question is, so, knowing that I need $162,900 10 years from today, now, how much I need to invest each year? Look, uh, read the problem. Assuming you can earn 10% annually on your investment, how much you invest at the end of each year, of the next 10 years, okay? So now, the series. How much you have to invest one year, at the end of second year, you make another similar investment. At the end, and all the way at the end, of the nine year and then at the end of the year ten, so you make investment at the end of each year over the over the next ten year, with the goal to receive one hundred sixty two thousand nine hundred to pay for the house. That's it. Okay, so uh, how can we figure out the investment or the payment we need to put in our account, and assuming that it earns ten percent a year. What can you do? 
Look, investment, investment, investment. That stream of investment form the annuity, right? It is an annuity. And on and the number one sixty two nine hundred. It is a future value, and simply put, you need to get an annuity which will give you 162,900 at the end. In other words, the future value, the future value of that annuity must be this number. Okay? It is the future value of the annuity. Now, so how can we find it? First of all, uh, we did it sometime, I don't know exactly. We look at the the row 10 year and the column how many percent? 10 percent your investment your rate of return 10 percent so the number in that uh, the number in that cell is remember it is an annuity and therefore you need to look at the sum of an annuity so the number in that cell is 15.937 15.937 it means uh, if you put one dollar for the next 10 year at the end of each year earning 10 percent interest now the future value of that annuity is fifteen dollar ninety three ninety three cent and point seven okay however you don't put one dollar, right? You put an unknown amount, which is NIV. In in order to achieve one sixty two nine hundred. Okay, now you tell me how can you get the investment number? How can we get the investment here? You can simply take the investment equal to one sixty nine. Oh, I'm sorry, 162,900 divided by 15.937. Yep. So, uh, the answer is, let me do it. Yeah. The answer is 10,221. When you do that calculation, the answer is uh, 10,000. Uh, 10,221 point uh, 50, about 50. Yep, that's it. So now, all in all, in order to buy that house which worth 100,000 today, at the end of 10 years, the price of the house is 169,900. So in order to get the 169,910 year from today, each year you need to put in $10,221.50 in your account. So at the end of the 10 year, you have about this, this amount to pay for the house. And we are done. Thank you.